you are ministering mm -hmm. and God highlights Hunter. What, how did, how, what? Yeah, it's, it's interesting uh, because I'm finding out that there was quite a prophetic story behind this as well that was happening with our team that we brought. Um, but we called everyone forward. We were going to lay hands on everyone and do an impartation uh, of, of power. Right. And um, as everyone was coming forward, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and, and said, I have a word for Hunter. So I, I asked Hunter to stand up and uh, he stood up and walked forward and Pastor Gary came over and brought him forward and I came down. Um, I, I think I was up at the top for a little bit prophesying over him. And what I saw was years and years of disappointment, of being let down, of having to fight. And I saw your heart, and there was this lock over your heart. And the Lord spoke to me and said that you didn't think that you would ever be able to love again. And I saw the hands of the Lord come in and unlock the heart, and your heart start to come alive. And that's when I said, you're going to learn how to love again. You will be able to love again. God is healing your heart. And then we came down. You know, I don't remember all the details, but then we came down and laid hands on you and began to pray for you. So what was what were, what was going through your mind as he begins to do this? And then what was physically going through your body? You know, the physical part, I was profusely sweating. Um, my eyes were going like this. Um, my heartbeat was increased um, and I felt like I was going to fall over, like literally fall over. And the only reason I literally was probably standing was because somebody was there to catch me. And my breathing, my breathing was tremendous. It was actually a really a real spiritual experience, something I've never like, experienced in my life. And so, and so you've got this immense heat that's hitting your body. And I was, I, I had my hand on your heart and it was literally, it would like go for like 10 seconds and then just almost leap. Mm -hmm. uh, like, like yeah. someone was hitting it with pat the paddles and mm -hmm. just uh, be jolted. And, 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 and I just felt the power of God was just all over you. Yeah. And, and, so you said that it, like at one point, like you were, you were almost like, didn't even know where you were in the room or yeah, halfway through, I tried to open my eyes and I couldn't even, I, could, I couldn't make out where I was. I would, when I had my eyes closed, even though it was supposed to be dark, all I could see was light. Whew. It was, Praise it was, God. it was crazy. Yeah. It was Jesus. like a white light. That's Jesus. It was tremendous. So, so now I didn't know this. So, so you have this experience, and Joel goes on to minister to, uh, you know, the, everybody in the room and powerful prophetic ministry, and, and other people. People were greatly touched. But later, Hunter came, and, and we discovered that this trust issue on your hands and some of these tattoos here were not the only tattoos that he had that literally across your chest here is a very intricate uh tattoo of what what's over your heart what's what's the tattoo that you have over your uh, heart? i literally have a lock and a key on my heart so and i got trust no love um, at the top of my chest and I have another heart over here flying away it says asking where my heart good luck finding that and and then you have it and then you have a, a, a heartbeat like a monitor would show and then it goes flat line yeah. all of that <laughs> is tattooed on you you're probably thinking like later like does this dude have x-ray vision <laughs> or like what because because you were saying Joel, in your prophetic word over him, you were saying, you know, you've built a wall around your heart and you don't, 
you know, what, what were you seeing in the spirit? Yeah, I mean, I, I literally saw the lock over his heart in the spirit, and I, and I saw his heart. And then what I saw was like a, a relay of your history. But like I said earlier, one thing of pain and fighting and disappointment that's created this barrier and this lock. And I actually saw a chain going across your heart. And, um, but it was at that point that I saw the hands of the Lord come and unlock your heart. And I saw your heart come to life. And that's when I said, you will learn how to love again. Yeah. God is restoring your heart. He's healing your heart and giving you the ability to love. Yeah. So. Yeah. I remember you were saying you thought something, I think in the, in the word it was, you thought your heart was dead. But now it's alive. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And that's all, that's all on tape too. So yeah. we have the details of that. Um, yeah. So I, you know, I just want to say how much God loves each and every one of us to where He would take somebody that really doesn't even have a grid for spirituality or maybe some of these supernatural things, right? And there's other things to this young man's testimony that God has been. You could tell the sovereign hand of God has just been directing him and guiding him to that moment, yeah. even to where this, you know, Joel yeah. would come from Cleveland and, you know, you would uh, be sent here through the courts to be there on that moment, on that yeah. night. God just God, so intervenes good. in your life. So it's powerful. Awesome. It's awesome.